I'm Madalena, a software developer at ProGeneric. Our Parallel Template Library, or PTL, contains many powerful and easy-to-use parallel functions that take advantage of multi-core processors. In this video, we'll demonstrate the performance and scalability of PTL by using it to execute matrix multiplication. We use a system with two Intel Xeon 6-core processors for a total of 12 physical cores or 24 logical cores with hyperthreading. Matrices are used in many scientific fields. In every branch of physics, they're used to study physical phenomena, such as the motion of rigid bodies. In computer graphics, they're used to project a 3D image onto a 2D screen. And in probability theory and statistics, they're used to describe sets of probabilities, like the ones used in the page rank algorithm that ranks Google search results. We'll use three matrices for this multiplication demo. Matrix A has 5,000 rows and 4,000 columns. Matrix B has 4,000 rows and 5,000 columns. And result matrix C is the product of A and B and has 5,000 rows and 5,000 columns. Matrices A and B are filled with a pattern of numbers, which will make it easier to visually verify the results, and result matrix C is initially filled with zeros. We'll need to execute around 200 billion calculations to obtain the result matrix C. We'll also verify the results for each run to show consistency. Before we begin, let's estimate the maximum number of operations for a single core by running an empty for loop 1 billion times. This empty loop contains two operations, an increment and a comparison. Now let's run it. The maximum speed per core is around 2.33 billion operations per second. This is in line with our expectations since our CPU clock frequency is 2.4 GHz. First, let's run a sequential matrix multiplication without PTL for all 5,000 rows. While it's running, let's take a look at the code. This is the classic implementation of matrix multiplication. The 2D array is a very good representation of matrices. A 1D array limits us to a maximum of 2 GB of memory in the majority of implementations and is not any faster than the 2D array representation. We also show the fill code for matrices A and B, which fills every column in a row with the current row number. This fill pattern makes it easier to verify our results. Now we'll fast forward to when the sequential solution finished. It finished in 40 minutes and processed around 82 million calculations per second, which is far behind the maximum performance of the system. Now let's verify the results. All of the elements in matrix C are correct. Next, let's run a parallel solution without PTL. While it's running, let's look at the code. It's very easy to parallelize the previous sequential code using a parallel for loop class and a feature called a lambda operator. This code can have a potential flaw in speed if the number of rows is less than the number of cores, which is not a problem for the current run with 5,000 rows. At the bottom, we also show the test matrix code. Since we filled each row of matrices A and B with the row number, this formula can be used to verify all elements in the result matrix C. Now we'll show the Windows Task Manager. Here we can see the CPU usage at 100% and all processor cores working simultaneously to solve the matrix product. Now we'll fast forward to when the parallel solution finished. It finished in 3 minutes and processed around 1.1 billion calculations per second, which is 13.1 times faster than the sequential solution. However, its speed is still behind the peak performance for a single core. Let's verify the results. All of the elements in matrix C are correct. Next, let's run a sequential solution using PTL. 
Let's inspect the new sequential code using PTL classes. In computing, row major and column major order describe methods for storing multidimensional arrays in linear memory. Array layout is critical for traversing an array because accessing array elements that are contiguous in memory is much faster due to caching. Row major order is used in languages such as C, C Sharp, Java, and Python. Column major order is used in Fortran and MATLAB. Matrix B must have a column major layout to efficiently utilize the processor cache. This was a problem in the previous runs without PTL. Unfriendly layout for matrix B generated too many cache evictions. PTL's matrix class allows both row major and column major layouts for better performance. Now we'll use a slightly modified fill method to accommodate column major matrices. Let's fast forward to when the PTL sequential solution finished. The PTL solution finished in 2 minutes and processed around 1.5 billion calculations per second, which is closer to the max speed per core. It's 17.6 times faster than the sequential solution without PTL. We'll verify the results again to show that matrix C is correct. Now we'll show a parallel solution using PTL. In the code, we simply add a P in front of the multiply method to use the parallel method from PTL's matrix opera class. All of the partitioning, load balancing, and allocating threads for execution is done internally by PTL. Now let's run the parallel solution. The PTL parallel solution finished in 11 seconds and processed around 18.2 billion calculations per second. It's 211 times faster than the sequential solution without PTL. We'll verify the results again and show that matrix C is correct. We may need matrix B to have row major layout for some other calculation. PTL makes it very easy to convert a matrix from one layout to the other using the matrix parallel copy method. PTL does not do these transformations automatically when a specific layout is required, like for the multiply method. Even if transformations don't add a significant overhead in speed, they add a significant overhead in memory allocation, and we don't want to waste memory. Often, the new matrix is reused many times in subsequent operations, so we let the user control the matrix layout and transformations. Let's execute this copy method. It only takes a fraction of a second to complete the transformation between row and column major layout. The matrices we use so far are not small by any means, but real-life problems often require very large matrices. Let's increase each matrix dimension by a factor of 10. Now our matrices will have 40,000 or 50,000 rows and columns. As expected, the number of calculations increases 1,000 times because the complexity of matrix multiplication is polynomial with the size of the matrices. Now we have 200 trillion calculations to execute. Let's clear the display and compare checkboxes. We'll run the original sequential solution again. As we can see, this solution deteriorates quickly because the cache evictions are accelerating. It becomes unusable for this kind of load and calculations drop from 82 million per second to around 35 million per second. Let's stop the execution. The same thing happens for the original parallel solution. Now calculations drop from 1.1 billion per second to around 350 million per second. Let's also stop this execution. Let's see if the PTL sequential solution maintains its speed for very large matrices. 
As expected, the PTL sequential solution maintains its speed of around 1.5 billion calculations per second for a single core, since PTL uses the cache very efficiently. Now let's run the PTL parallel solution for very large matrices. In the task manager, you can see that CPU usage is at 100% and all processor cores are working in parallel. However, the speed drops from 18 billion to around 15 billion calculations per second. The slight drop is caused by cache size limitations per core, but the PTL parallel solution still has very good performance for these larger matrices. To conclude, we'll mention that we can still improve this performance by assisting the compiler in vectorizing the matrix multiplication. Unfortunately, the current c -sharp compiler does not support auto-vectorization. Visual Studio 2012 offers this feature for the C++ compiler, and we plan to explore it for performance enhancement in the future. PTL offers many more containers and algorithms with excellent parallel performance. You can read more about PTL's features and view its complete documentation under the products section of our website. Thanks for watching this demo.